Nothing is more frustrating than suffering from multiple low thyroid symptoms, going to your doctor and getting checked and your doctor saying, no, your thyroid's fine. It must just be depression. You may have chronic fatigue. Here's a pill or two or three. This happens far more commonly than it should ever happen, leaving you with undiagnosed hypothyroidism or low thyroid and also with a new diagnosis and a new medication that you don't even need at all. The reason this happens so commonly is that the average healthcare provider has been trained to only check a TSH or a thyroid stimulating hormone as what they would consider to be a complete check of your thyroid health. Some doctors go one step further and they'll check a TSH plus a T4 and they'll consider that to be a complete and thorough check of your thyroid functions. This is absolutely inadequate. It does you no favors at all because the only thing in the world suffer that's worse than suffering from hypothyroidism is suffering from undiagnosed hypothyroidism. This video is gonna help you understand all the testing that you need to be properly diagnosed with either hypothyroidism or Hashimoto's thyroiditis, which is an autoimmune uh, condition that attacks your thyroid and ultimately leaves you with the, all the symptoms of low thyroid. I'm Dr. Ken Berry, a family physician with 20 years of clinical practice, and that's what this video is about. There are several different medical conditions that can leave you with multiple symptoms of low thyroid and only by checking a complete thyroid panel is your doctor going to be able to catch one or more of these and make the proper formal diagnosis of hypothyroidism or Hashimoto's thyroiditis. If your doctor only checks a limited number of labs, there are multiple things that can be missed by this and you wind up suffering untreated and perhaps treated for something that you don't even actually have. So I've broken the tests up into two levels and uh, most doctors consider a level one thyroid check to be just checking a TSH or a TSH and a T4 or TSH and a free T4. This is wholly inadequate and does you no favors whatsoever. So let me tell you the actual level one testing that you need to have done for low thyroid. Now, if you're having classic low thyroid symptoms like fatigue, weight gain, constipation, always being cold, or any of the uncommon low thyroid symptoms like I talk about in my other thyroid symptom video, then you need this entire panel checked right off the bat so that we know exactly where your thyroid function is. So the level one testing should include, and it, they may, if they wanna add more tests, that's fine, okay? But don't let them order any less than this level one testing. It needs to include a TSH, a free T3, a free T4, a reverse T3. This is very important. Uh, a lot of people's, uh, the, their pituitary gland, their hypothalamus, their thyroid is actually performing okay, but their conversion rate from T4 to T3 is mucked up and they wind up producing mostly reverse T3, which is inactive in the human body. It doesn't give you the function that free T3 does. And so the only way to know if you have this malady is to check a reverse T3. More tests in this level one panel are a TPO antibody. This is gonna check if you have an autoimmune condition that's attacking your thyroid. It's usually called Hashimoto's thyroiditis, but without checking a TPO antibody, you can have all, all, normal labs everywhere else across this panel, but still have Hashimoto's, which can give you multiple symptoms of low thyroid. Another test that you need to have checked is a TG antibody. This is another test that if you don't check it, you have no idea that your immune system is attacking your thyroid. And then the final test in this level one panel is a urine iodine. It's very common for people all across the world to have a severe iodine deficiency, and this can give you multiple low thyroid symptoms. So your thyroid may be functioning perfectly, but you just don't have enough iodine in your diet, 
and you're suffering from low thyroid symptoms. That's absolutely a possible thing that can happen to you and only by checking a urine iodine and you can do a spot urine iodine or you can do a 24 hour urine collection for iodine. And you want your iodine level to be in the upper limit of the normal range for the test that you get. If yours is, is in the lower range or it's below normal, then that could be the, the absolute explanation of your hypothyroid symptoms. Many, many healthcare providers out there don't understand this in-depth thyroid testing, but it's absolutely essential that a primary healthcare provider, family doctor, internal medicine, pediatrician, they need to understand this. OBGYN needs to understand this. If you don't understand this, then you need to find a specialist that you can refer your patients to for a proper thyroid workup rather than just checking a TSH and then telling them it's all in their head. That's inappropriate. That's potentially even malpractice. Now there is a second level. If you've had this first level checked and it's all within normal limits, but you're still having severe low thyroid symptoms, then the second level of testing is going to be things that your primary care doctor has definitely never heard of. Perhaps even your endocrinologist hasn't heard of these two tests. So the next test you're going to need is a TSH receptor antibody. So your pituitary gland makes TSH and that's supposed to attach onto a receptor on your thyroid. But if you've developed an antibody to that receptor, it can keep that receptor mucked up. And so you might have a very high TSH level because it just can't connect. And it's also your pituitary glands not getting the feedback that it should be getting from your thyroid. Your thyroid's basically telling your pituitary gland, hey, I'm not getting any TSH here. And that's because this antibody has bound to the receptor and your TSH can't bind there. Uh, this is very uncommon, but it is absolutely possible. The last one is uh, still considered an experimental test by many labs, but I think uh, over the next few years, this is gonna become a routine test. And that is a test for a, your sodium iodide symporter antibody. So every cell in your body that's ever been checked has something called a sodium iodide symporter on the cell membrane. This is a little machine that your cells put on the cell membrane that squirts out sodium and pulls iodine into the cell because every cell in your body needs iodine, not just your thyroid gland. So you can develop an antibody to this symporter and only by checking this test will you know if you have that or not. And so somebody could have completely normal numbers all across the board, but if their sodium iodine symporter is not allowing iodine to go across the cell membrane, then all of their cells are gonna be starving for vital iodine. They're gonna have multiple low thyroid symptoms, but their thyroid is functioning fine. So this is kind of the last level. If everything else is normal, then you need to have a sodium iodine symporter antibody level checked. And you may have to find a specialty lab that offers this, but I predict in the coming years, it'll become a much more common test. Now, if you're suffering from low thyroid symptoms, you don't just need to have these thyroid labs checked. Multiple things can cause you to have fatigue, weight gain, uh, constipation, always feeling cold, and all the other uncommon uh, thyroid symptoms that I talk about in the other video. But you absolutely have to have your thyroid thoroughly checked in order to rule it out as the culprit. If you've watched my other video about low thyroid symptoms, common and uncommon, and you have more than three of those symptoms, you've got to get your doctor to order these labs. Now, if your doctor just refuses to do that, there are online lab companies that you can just bypass your doctor and have these tests ordered through. I put a link to one of them down below. I also put a link to my favorite iodine supplement down in the show notes below. Remember, it's not just your, thi your thyroid gland that needs iodine. Every cell in your body needs and uses and accumulates iodine for a reason. It's that important. I hope this video helped you a lot. If you know someone who has multiple low thyroid symptoms, but they went to their doctor and they just checked a TSH and said, your thyroid's fine, it's all in your head, please share this video with them. You're welcome to share this in your thyroid group on your thyroid page. This is Dr. Barry. I'll see you next time.